It's a very special moment uh, to navigate being alone at night. You see differently, you feel differently, you smell differently. The whole um, feelings start to change on you. It's different than daytime. But the nighttime has beauty that, that's very hard to explain to someone that hasn't walked long in the night and, and you know, with the, the weather changing, the clouds changing, it, it, what it comes with that. I think that his work is, as usual, original, challenging, he's willing to take risks, he's entering territory that no one else has entered before, he does it with humility and modesty, he's a hard worker, he's sensitive, I could go on forever about him, he's, he has a strength because it can be experienced on many different levels. Um, there are layers and levels within the work. Uh, there's the decorative, of course, which is the most appealing. But the longer you look at it, the more you can relate to it, and, and the deeper, more deeply you can go into the work. So this piece is about uh, navigation navigating in, in the nighttime by foot, not um, people expect, you know, they hear navigation, the idea of from an airplane, but no, this is from walking at night, understanding the land, um, seeing every detail that you see in, in a landscape, especially at nighttime. Um, it's an important piece too, because it was um, really set the tone for the rest of the work that I was working on. And the details, when you get up close to the piece, you see that um, there's all, it's all full of letters. These letters are, are letters that I had written throughout the years to um, families of fallen soldiers that I had known. These are just layers of words. And these layers that I had written, the more I layer them, in, in, it creates more of a darkness and a lightness. So the more you layer, the, the, the darker it gets, the less you layer. Um, the less you will see. That uh, his parents came to Israel, converted, and they ended up uh, going to war and conquering a town of his grandfather in Lebanon. This is part of him opening up, and it's kind of opening up through the back door. He's not talking. He's just putting it, and you can understand whatever you want to understand. Very extremely sensitive and extremely internal, but this art was able to get him a little bit to open up in a different way that what we used to, yeah. most people do. I was born in uh, Michigan in 1960. Um, and my parents um, converted to Judaism when I was nine years old. And from there they moved to Israel. I lived in Israel for about uh, 12 years until I finished my army service. And then I moved back here to New York and I, met, um, I went here to school. So after I finished, after I finished my, my life in the, in the kibbutz, which I lived there from age 13 to 18, the next stage you have, you go to, to the army. So I was in the army for three years in the Israeli army. Um, and I went to the service like every other Israeli citizen. So yeah, the, the experience is very important to me. So the, and, and these big pieces that you look at and, and they kind of, and, um, become bigger than life was on purpose. I wanted you to feel this experience of night. And when I started going to the smaller sizes, again, this how do you create this experience of a real nighttime experience? So the, the goal in the smaller ones was as, as far of a hole in the wall you can go 
it was important to me. It was much important that you can see through the wall and it goes further in and that's why we, I, I, I paste them to the wall and, and give this effect or, or feeling of, oh, it's an endless nightscape. My name is Eugene LeMay. I'm 51. I was growing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm an artist.